All right, guys, doing a little bit of a uh, intraday market recap here. We're going to start with the SPY. Um, we were tracking all of these things, pre-market, SPY, SMSI, VSTM, CUR, uh, CTST, and TW, TR. Uh, so top left-hand corner, S&P, when we were talking about it, we talked about it this morning, and it was setting a, uh, a pre-market high up through this level and uh, naturally when that level was taken out you can see that price action uh, bull flagged right out of the gate uh, right through here set up this nice little uh, situation held that 50 and that VWAP and then moved higher into the close um, you know price action wasn't up a ton it was only up two points or 67 basis points um, so there was a nice move in the spy it wasn't huge but generally speaking uh, markets were very very bullish um, if we actually come over here just next door to SMSI, uh, again, just to recap, this was a pre-market mover that we were watching. It was moving on size um, and it was moving on the back of positive earnings. And, uh, you know, the one thing I didn't like about this out of the gate is that it kind of hit this low. And as it got below that VWAP and that 50-day simple moving average, I actually stopped looking at it. There was a lot of talk in chat right when it was uh, testing and cutting through that VWAP. And again, I just peeked at it. I took a step back. This was out of my window, uh, so I wasn't present for this trade. But you can actually see that it actually jacked right up into that resistance level, that uh, intraday high at that point, got up into that level. Ascending triangle uh, was produced, and then it exploded powerfully into the close. So SMSI, positive report. It was very, very bullish pre-market. We talked about it already. Go back to the video and review it uh, just to get some in, uh, insight as to how we were looking at this pre-market. And then check check out what happened here. A stunning triangle broke out uh, the high of day, and this thing traded up just shy of 67% uh, or up 2.3 points um, on, on the day. So SMSI, clearly the mover here of the day that, uh, that panned out the best. I personally did not take a swing at it. Uh, what I was looking for was VSTM to actually uh, roll out of bed and, and you know, uh, short. So uh, this thing bumped up and it started to fade pre-market. Uh, there was news on this, but like I said earlier, no catalyst. And the news here was is that there was a partnership deal. And I just didn't think that that was going to be enough to shoot this thing into outer space. Uh, I was pretty bearish on this all day. Uh, this was shorter bull, so I was waiting for this thing to uh, to roll over. It didn't come to fruition, and it spent most of the uh, the actual uh, cash market flat. Didn't really do anything. All of its movement was done pre-market, started to fade. I suspect on Monday and moving forward that this thing is going to uh, probably end up eating shit. Uh, C-U-R, there were some warrants being executed on this. Uh, it gapped down a bunch, down 35%. I was asked in chat, what do we do with this? I said, if it produces some volatility, play it like you would anything else. But this thing was just flat on the day. It did absolutely nothing. And I'm going to assume that is directly correlated uh, to those warrants. CTST, again, flat, didn't do anything all day. 16.9% movement. That's going to be the gap up. But there was no real movement on this at all. Twitter reported well today. It was up, uh, I want to say, 6% pre-market. Uh, it did take out its pre-market high. Uh, it hit a cash market high of about 42 and a half, uh, and then just kind of faded mildly and got flat for the rest of the day. So not a lot of action there. By and large, this review is going to be based on the fact that the S&P set a pre-market high, took it out in the cash market, flagged higher. So nice move on the SPY. Overall sentiment in the market's clearly bullish today. And then SMSI coming on the back of great earnings. That thing popped later on in the day. Shout out to all the uh, power hour traders out there that took advantage of this. I was not present. Um, and again, news, no catalyst, big difference. And then Twitter reported well, bumped marginally. That's a review. Have a great weekend, guys. If you have any questions, I'm at julian at jlewistrading.com or you can hit me up directly in chat.